Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime. This week I'm going to be bringing you another LaunchBox tutorial. We're going to be covering Game & Watch. Now, some of you aren't going to like the look of this. Some of you are going to absolutely love it. In my opinion, this is one of the coolest systems to emulate just because the way it presents the console on screen while you're playing. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to need are some Game & Watch ROMs. Now, there are tons of these. Mine are MGW file type. If they're zipped, you can go ahead and leave them zipped. Mine were already extracted, so I'm gonna leave them like this. Next, one of the most important things here is the LaunchBox database does not contain Game & Watch artwork or metadata just yet. I am leaving a link in the description for Game & Watch artwork. So I love the look of these. These are all old school handheld game systems. Now some of these were made by Nintendo and a lot of them were made by VTech, Tiger, Mattel, other companies like that. First thing I'm gonna do is take my Game & Watch ROMs and place them in my LaunchBox games folder. So my LaunchBox folder is located under my C drive, users, ETA Prime, LaunchBox, games. So I'm gonna take this, drag it right there. Now we have our ROMs in a location that's easy to access. We're going to go ahead and start LaunchBox. So like I mentioned, this is one of my favorite to emulate just because it displays the handheld on screen while you're playing the game. These are old handheld games like the old Tiger Disc Golf and stuff like that. This is a must have for any ROM collection. First thing we're going to do is go to Tools. Import ROM files. From here, when you're doing anything in LaunchBox, make sure you read through. Make sure you understand why you're going to click the next button. This is the ROM wizard. It's going to help us import our games. Click next. Select the files to import. You can either add the full Game & Watch folder or just add single files. I'm going to go with add folder. From here, you need to navigate to your LaunchBox directory where you dropped your game. So mine's under C Drive, ETA Prime, LaunchBox, Games, Game & Watch. Click OK. And we're going to click Next. Platform for imported ROMs. Now there is a Nintendo Game & Watch section in here. But a lot of these games are not the Nintendo Game & Watch games. These are mostly handheld. So... I'm going to create a new platform here. I'm going to call it Game & Watch. When I think of Nintendo Game & Watch, I think of, you know, the Donkey Kong and the remakes for the new Game Boys and stuff like that. So I want to create a new platform, and I'm just going to call it Game & Watch. We're not going to scrape it as anything because there is no artwork to be had just yet. Hopefully in the near future, it is added to the LaunchBox database, but for now you can download the one from the link in the description. Click Next. From here, we need to choose an emulator. We're gonna be using RetroArch. We're gonna use a core called Handheld Electronics. If you haven't set up RetroArch yet, Brad and Jason have made really awesome videos. I'm gonna leave links down below. So go ahead and get that set up. As soon as you have RetroArch set up on your PC within LaunchBox, come on back and finish this up. So I'm going to add an emulator because I don't have RetroArch from a dropdown yet. Go to Add. Emulator name. We can go to the dropdown menu and scroll down till we see RetroArch. Emulator application path. Browse to where you have placed your RetroArch folder. Mine's C Drive, Users, ETA Prime, LaunchBox, Emulators, RetroArch, Scroll to the bottom and you should see your RetroArch.exe. This is the application path. Double click. Now we need to hit up the associated platforms. We're gonna create a new one here. There are several in here, but we don't have any Game & Watch. So associated platform at the very bottom here, we're gonna name it Game & Watch. For our default command line parameter, I have left a text document down below, you can download it or follow the on-screen prompt here. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and find mine. So on my desktop, Game & Watch, 
text file, open it up, and we're going to copy everything from here to here. Go ahead and copy. We can close this down. And we're going to paste that right here. This is going to be using the GW core, or the Game & Watch Electronics Handheld core we're going to download in RetroArch. We're going to go ahead and make sure this is checked, and click OK. Click Next. From here, you can copy the files into the LaunchBox Games folder. I've already done that, so I'm just going to use the files in their current location. Would you like to download metadata for your games? Yes, I would, but there's nothing just yet. I just leave it checked and click Next all the way through because there's no box art or metadata just yet. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for Game & Watch. Click Next. This is the name of our Game & Watch ROM or our Game & Watch game here. Our file location and the extension, minor.mgw. Click Finish. This should go pretty fast because it's not going to find anything to download. My 52 Game & Watch games were imported successfully. Click OK. Over on the left-hand side, we should now have a Game & Watch option. When we open it up, Everything's going to be blank, but that's okay. I left a file down below that you guys can download from my Dropbox. It contains pretty much all the artwork for Game & Watch. Go ahead and download that. Place it on your desktop or your downloads folder. Right-click on any of these Game & Watch games. Scroll to Open Image Folder. I'm just going to snap it to the side. Now you want to make sure you're in your launch box, Images, Game & Watch, Box Front. I'm going to find that file that I downloaded, open my desktop in a new window, Game & Watch Art. And I'm just going to copy everything from in here. You can press Control A or just drag everything. Now I want to copy these. I'm going to paste them right in here. Game & Watch, Box Front. We're going to close these windows down. From the top, go to Tools, Refresh All Images. And there you have it. We now have the handheld, or the console, whatever you want to call it, listed here. Now, I love the way this looks. And I love the way it looks in big box mode using cover flow. It just looks amazing with this artwork. One last thing before we can start a game, choose any one of your Game & Watch games. Go ahead and right click on it, and we're going to open RetroArch. We need to download that GW Core. From here, we're going to scroll down to Online Updater, press Enter, or use your controller. Core Updater. Scroll down. Handheld Electronic GW. Press Enter. This is the core we're going to be using. We can go ahead and exit RetroArch. We don't need to start this back up in a standalone mode at all. You're now ready to play some awesome Game & Watch games. There are some really cool ones in here. There are some really horrible ones in here, but this is a must-have for a full collection. It's just such an awesome little setup. And I want to show you why that is. We're just going to start Donkey Kong, the Coleco version. If you have the paid version of LaunchBox, you also have controller automation, which will allow you to start and exit your games from here. If not, you can use your mouse and press exit to exit the game. Double click. So this is what the game looks like when we're playing it. While you're playing a game, if you hold start, it will show you the controller scheme here. So my left trigger is power. My D-pad is up, down, left, right. My B and my A button are jump. We also have a zoom feature. If you press select, it will zoom in on the game. I'll show you that when the game's running, it looks a little better. I love playing them like this. I know the middle of the screen is a bit small, but just to have that whole handheld console on screen is the coolest part of all of this. Go ahead and start your game. And I'll press jump once to start. And you're now playing Game & Watch. And I'm dead. 
So I'll just zoom in so you can see how it looks like that. That's really why I like this setup here. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you one more game. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find one more game to try out. Now, if you look through here, there are a few that were made by Nintendo, but a lot of them were made by VTech and other companies also. I'm gonna go with Towering Rescue LCD Card Game. Double click. Hold start to find out your controls. You can choose game A or game B. We have right, left, zoom. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna start here. Wait for these people to populate on top of these. Need to save them and bring them back. These games to me are actually fun to play. I love checking out my high score and stuff like that. Most of all, it's to show off to your friends. I just love the way this looks. Now, some people aren't gonna like it, but I know a lot of you are gonna really dig this setup. Go ahead and escape. So you are now done. You are ready to play your game and watch games from LaunchBox using RetroArch. Before I get out of here, I just wanna show you how this looks in big box mode with this artwork and the cover flow system. So I'm gonna start big box mode. And I'm going to scroll on over to Game & Watch. So there you have it. So I love the way this looks with the cover flow system. Now there's no information about the game, but if you try the game, you're gonna completely understand how to play it, or maybe you won't. There's some games that I just gave up on because I couldn't figure out exactly what I was doing on this tiny screen. So that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try my hardest to get back to you as soon as possible. If you have any requests, let us know in the comments, and we'll get something made up for you. Now, there's a few things that I've been working on lately, and they should be out very shortly. I kind of wanted to get this out of the way because this is one of my favorite to show off to friends. Like always, thanks for watching.